Welcome to the ZFF Daily Talk. I'm very happy to have Francois Young with me. He's a Swiss film director uh, and he showed his movie L'Âme du Tigre as a world premiere at the Zurich Film Festival. Salut, hello Francois. Hello. Nice yeah. to have you here. Welcome. Yeah, thank you. Uh, you're welcome. You showed your movie um, that shows, portrays a Sino-French boy that somehow um, tries to go after to know how his brother died mm -hmm. and at the same time he finds out about his family history, mm -hmm. mainly about the Chinese culture history. Yeah. You, you also have a um, Chinese origin. How did your personal story affect your movie? Actually, it was a very personal story because I, I had uh, lost my brother 20 years ago. And um, at that time I was very young and, and I, it was a very dramatic event for me. And um, I don't know, when you lose someone very close to you, then you ask yourself many questions and you want to find explanations. And uh, I wanted to know the truth about my brother, of course. And uh, nobody wants to talk, especially in the Chinese community, non not the Chinese community, but in the Chinese culture, such as my father, who was, who is from China. Then uh, it's very rude to ask questions. And um, that's why it's, it's a very personal film. And um, yeah. <laughs> so, so you're somehow the, the main mm. character, uh, some pieces of you are in the main can character Alex Chen somehow. Yeah, because when I was a teenager then I didn't want to know anything about China and about my Chinese origin because I was born in Switzerland. And um, when you are a child then you want to be like other kids and you don't want to be like the Chinese guy in the Swiss community. You just want to be Swiss and like everyone else, and uh, and I think I uh, I identify myself as a Swiss person until uh, I was 20 years old, maybe. Uh. And uh, at that time, people asked me some questions about China. Do you speak Chinese and everything? And I said no. I have nothing to do with China. China. And um, then uh, I made a couple of documentaries, and one producer asked me to make a documentary in China and I said yeah it might be interesting because I don't know anything about my heritage. Chinese heritage yeah mm. okay. and that's how I got interested into Chinese culture into the Chinese language and everything and, and that's what the main character in my movie is doing mm. in the film mm. he di discovers his own culture his heritage and uh, yeah well, I would suggest let's take a short uh, look into um, your movie, then we mm -hmm. see a little bit of your character as well as you just said. Merci d'être venu. C'est normal hein, si on peut même pas compter sur sa famille. I'm a since a jeune si vous souhaitez. D'accord. T'es toujours aussi nuant en chinois? C'est Jung qui avait le don des langues. Ok, so we just saw the main character mm -hmm. uh, talking to his cousin mm -hmm. and being asked, so you don't know any <laughs> Chinese somehow. Um, you know those moments. You just yeah. yeah. It, it's very awkward when you are with your whole family, your uncle, cousin, and they know Chinese actually. They know they speak Chinese and you don't understand anything and you are at this for example at Christmas when we gather together to have a party like at, at home and we have a dinner and they speak Chinese and you're just like what are they saying? Mm -hmm. It's really weird and it's yeah. Okay. Um disturbing. Sometimes. How how do you feel now after because as a kid you wanted to be like a, a Western looking uh, a <laughs> kid somehow or mm -hmm. um how do you feel now after exploring your culture? Do you feel more Chinese? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think in our international multicultural world, um, we are all part of the world. In a, not in a, we are not stuck in a single country, I think now. Mm. We are like, 
I like many things in China, but uh, not everything. I like the food, I like the culture, I don't like, like, uh, yeah, like <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. And um, I like many things in, in Switzerland. I, I like to pick in every culture what is interest, interesting. And I think young people from today are like this, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think th the world would be better if we think like this, like mm -hmm. in a more global way. Okay. Yeah. Um, you have Asian um, actor or yeah, Asian actors in your movie mm -hmm. uh, that, of course, grew up in France. Mm -hmm. How difficult was it to find Asian actors in, in in France? It was very difficult actually because in France we don't have many Asian actors, and uh, there are almost no actors on screen that are Asian on the French television and on on the cinema. It's always the they always play like the the bad guy, the m the guy from the mob, the mafia, or the guy working in a Chinese restaurant. It's always cliche, and I think it's important to show that Chinese people can just play the simple characters and normal people, like normal people, like anybody else. And uh, I think the the main protagonist was very happy uh -huh. to be able to to have that kind of important role. It's very rare. It's almost impossible to have the main part of the of a movie in in France and Switzerland as an Asian actor. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen any mo movie like this. And mm -hmm. I think it's important to show that. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. You have uh, also older, more uh, older actors, yeah. Chinese actors, and they also talk about the Cultural Revolution. Mm -hmm. um, how much was it from their story? Actually, it was half of their story and half of my script. Actually, I wrote the script and then I showed them the script and th they told me, oh, but we lived that period and we know about it. And um, for example, one of the, the actors, he, he has lost his parents during the Cultural Re Revolution and he has seen his parents being taken by the Red Guards and he didn't have any news from, from them during four months. And. Uh, Actually, in the movie, it's what he what he's saying about this period is true. It's like he's feeling those moments he he, he had about his own parents. So he's not uh, w crocodile tears. It's mm. a it's a real pain mm. that he feels in the movie. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we're emotional. <laughs> Um, so far, you have filmed intercultural documentaries, as you said yes. before, also in China. But now with Lam du Tigre, it's actually your first uh, feature movie. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I made ma many documentaries and it's very hard to make it personal when it's a documentary. And um, I think in documentaries, I, I started to, uh, to deal always with the same topics about prejudice, about intercultural issues and that's what is interesting into what interests me into filmmaking to show something to the people to, to reveal a truth that i believe in and i'm always worried about prejudice about those racial issues and uh, i think it's important to talk about this in movies and uh, and uh, especially in a feature film mm -hmm. it's easier i think to touch emotionally the people yeah. Well, thank you very much for doing that. Mm -hmm. Thank uh, you. It was a great movie, and it will be out in Switzerland. Yeah. Soon. Soon this year or early next year. Well, thank you very much for watching, and of course, if you want to see more talks that were shot here at the Blick Video Studio, then make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want to discuss one of the topics that were talked here as well, you can do that under the hashtag #ZFFDaily.